This is the Push Shift Podcast, a raw look at the hospitality industry. Good day, Push Shifters. This is Sean Saul again uh, for your Push Shift shop. This week, I wanted to chat to you very quickly. It's a little bit of a Tuesday shot for your ear holes um, about work-life balance. Um, I've talked to this about this before, but I crossed over with uh, Brad, the chef and owner of uh, Olo today and talking about work-life balance. And to me, work-life balance does not exist. Uh, work-life balance exists in the in society norms more so than in general. But I think too many people look at other people and go, well, I want that sort of lifestyle or I want that work-life balance or I want uh, this or that or everything else. The grass is always green on the other side. But at the end of the day, you can't have what other people have. And really, it comes down to what you want. Um, last year, I went through a whole big process of trying to figure out how to be more normal for my family. And at the end of the day, it came out that I just wanted to work and I like working. And I think too many people look at what other people have, especially in the hospitality industry, which is always the hard one because people get to travel and do junkets and that sort of thing. And it's like a bit, bit of FOMO is what the kids call it, fear of missing out. And I think the Work-Life Balance Act needs to uh, be a very personal and a very internal thing. Um, the toxic masculinity of the hospitality industry is a big factor in this because, you know, like you always see this fucking stupid post online of like, oh, well, oh, well, like I wish I had a part-time job working 40 hours a week, blah, blah, fucking blah. Oh, I worked 15 hours in the kitchen or 15 hours in the bar. Fuck, I've been, I've been notorious and guilty for this myself. Um, and I've been guilty of coveting someone else's lifestyle or work-life balance thinking that that's what I should have. And really, at the end of the day, I've come to the terms with the fact that your work-life balance is what you want it to be. If you want to work a ton, awesome. If you want to work 40 hours a week, tank home a good paycheck, and have your fucking weekends off for frisbee golf, fuck, do it. Um, but you can't judge other people for what they, how they work or what they do as much as you can't expect people to judge what you do. I'm a busy guy. I like being busy. Solomon... When he hired me at Pagliacci, he said, I thought you'd fi finally figured out that you could have a work-life balance here. And I'm like, I went back to school and I fucking started this shit. And at the end of the day, that's the sort of way that I look at it now is that um, I'm happy. And I think the real root of it all is if you like working 15 hours a day, don't judge other people because they don't want to work 15 hours a day. Um be happy with working 15 hours a day. If you're working 15 hours a day and you're not happy, then you need, you're in control of your own life. You hold the remote control so you can change the channel whenever you like. And I think a lot of people get mixed up in what people expect of them and what they want out of life and how they get there. If you want to work 40 hours a week, take home a paycheck, have your weekends off with your family, that sort of thing, just make sure that makes you happy. If you want to work 75 hours a week and go back to school and be an idiot, and maximize your time with your family and look for quality over quantity, then that's what you do. But you need to accept it as yourself. And in this industry, it's really hard because too many people and too many owners and too many, this this sort of like roll down of the older generation of the industry, rolling down to the younger generation of the industry, putting this sort of mental stress and that sort of thing on the youngsters of like 12 hour days and that sort of thing. It doesn't need to be that way. And we need to change that from an inside out because we're not going to get that change from perspectives on the outside. We need to change that from the inside out. So this is a pretty short one. It's only like four minutes long, but I wanted to share this with you about work-life balance. It's up to you. It's what you want. It doesn't matter what everybody fucking else wants. It's what you want and what you make makes you happy. Um, so that's your little blip. These videos are on YouTube. Please follow me, uh, youtube.com slash Sean Sewell. You'll find them. They're always on the Post Shift Podcast uh, link. Thank you very, very much for the support. Um, I'm really enjoying doing the BC Spirits Podcast now and tasting BC Spirits because, well, why would you not just want to drink BC Spirits? Um, but thank you very much for the support, everybody. And I really, truly appreciate everybody who's reached out, everybody who's asked questions. I have got a Q&A sort of building right now, so that will be an episode. Um, I'm not sure if I've already done this episode uh, or... Um, it might be after this episode, but my wife wants to be interviewed by me, um, which is awesome and also freaking terrifying. 
So uh, if you've already heard that, then d- disregard this. If you haven't heard it yet, you've got to tune in because my wife is a little bit more blunt than I am, which is hard to believe. But um, thank you very much for listening. This is the Post Shift Podcast, uh, Post Shift Shot, and uh, I'm your host, Sean Sewell.